There is a rumor trade between the Detroit Pistons and the New York Knicks, and I have to break it down. All that and much more on the Knicks Digest. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Dario, from Knicks Digest. Let's get right into today's video. So James Edwards, who covers the Detroit Pistons, suggested this trade between the Detroit Pistons and the New York Knicks. So the Detroit Pistons, they get Mitchell Robinson, Deuce McBride, a 2025 first-round pick, and multiple second-round picks. And the New York Knicks, we get Jalen Duren and Jaden Ivey. Okay, so first and foremost, 100%, I'm sorry, Deuce, you're my guy, but 10 times out of 10, I am doing this trade. We get Jalen Duren. Jalen Duren, who I believe is 20 years old, and Jaden Ivey is 22 years old. Jaden Duren would be an amazing backup center or maybe even starting center since Mitchell Robinson, since we've been talking about his health issues ever since he came into the league. And then Jaden Ivey, who I believe is a shooting guard. So we have a nice little backup shooting guard coming off the bench. Listen, man, Deuce McBride, like I said in the beginning of this video, you're my guy, Mitchell Robinson. As long as you're a Nick, we're forever gonna ride for you. But there's gonna, there's a lot of questions that we have to that we have to have answered this season, and we don't know if we're gonna be able to answer it. The main question: your health concern. And Jalen Duren, Jalen Duren is an absolute monster. Just finished his second season in the league, 6'10", built like a freaking ox. This guy, if we're having him as our starting center, that's gonna fix our problem with Isaiah Hartenstein leaving for the OKC Thunder. So for the for last season, he averaged 13.8 points, 11.6 uh, rebounds, 2.4 assists, converting 61.9% from the field. Mind you, all of those shots were definitely dunks, layups, uh, alley-oops, uh, no three-pointers, thank God, converting 80% of his free throws. Listen, the biggest number that I want everybody to focus in on here, the games that he played last season, 61 games. 61 games compared to Mitchell Robinson's, which I believe was 31 games. Yeah, Mitchell Robinson played 31 games this past season compared to Jalen Duren's 61. And I did a little bit of research and I went into Mitchell Robinson's career. I just wanted to see the amount of games that he played ever since he was a rookie. So since his rookie season in 2018, 2019, his first season, he played 66 games. Very nice. His sophomore season, he played 61 games. Very nice. The third season, 31 games. The fourth season, 72 games. The fifth season, 59 games. And then this past season was 31 games. So when you look at it in the totality of Mitchell Robinson's career, he only had two seasons where he played 31 games. The rest of the seasons, 66, 61, 72, 59. So any, for anywhere from 60 to 72 games he played besides those two seasons, which is good. But this past season, when we needed him the most, and again, we can't put the blame on him like Mitchell Robinson doesn't have control over when he gets injured and then on top of that we got to take a look into you know the first round against the Philadelphia 76ers when Joel Embiid was he made countless do 30 plays and the biggest one in my mind that pops out to me is when Joel Embiid was on the floor Mitchell Robinson had an open layup and Joel Embiid like literally grabbed his two legs with his two arms and pulled him down he should have been ejected and he definitely should have been suspended for at least one game for doing that but I'm doing this trade, and again, it's a no question to me. Don't kill me in the comments because obviously Jalen Dern, he only has two seasons under his belt, where Mitchell Robinson has what? I think this is, he just finished his sixth season. So there's a little bit more of a sample size with Mitchell Robinson. Like, we don't know. Maybe Jalen Dern. I absolutely don't hope this for Jalen Dern. But moving forward, maybe Jalen Dern, beginning of this season, we're starting to see some injury woes that's been plaguing Mitchell Robinson. And now it's going to be starting with Jalen Dern. So we don't know what we don't know what could happen. But from the two seasons that we've seen from uh, Jalen Dern, he played 67 games in his rookie season. He played 61 games in his sophomore season. And man, I the when I've seen Jalen Dernan play, I just like I like what I see. I like how active he is. I like how agile he is. In this past season alone, Mitchell Robinson, who only played 31 games, he averaged eight and a half rebounds. Uh, Mitchell Robinson averaged a uh, one block. And Jalen Dern, if we take a look at his numbers for this past season, we're looking at 11.6 rebounds, and he averaged 0.8 blocks, which I would round up to one. So. The biggest part of this trade that really caught my eye and really caught my attention was pretty much the switch between Jalen Dern and Mitchell Robinson. Yes, I keep saying that I would do it. No question, no questions asked. The first round pick, we're gonna be giving up another first round pick when we gave up five in the Mikhail Bridges trade. 
But we also got to focus in on the Jaden Ivey part because Jaden Ivey is not too shabby himself. Shooting guard, 6'4", this past season averaging 15.4 points, 3.4 rebounds, 3.8 assists, converting 43% from the field, 33.6% from three-point land, converting 75% of his free throws. Now, Jaden Ivey, a lot of, what a lot of people were saying around the NBA media, he was kind of put in a weird spot because of Monty Williams. Monty Williams... He, I don't know what the hell happened after giving him the richest contract for a coach in NBA history. I'm not sure if he holds that title anymore. Maybe somebody else just already overtook him. I don't know what he was doing, like the lineups he was using. Kate Cunningham didn't really develop as much as I like to see him develop this season. Jaden Ivey, I believe, he just wasn't getting any minutes after last season when Kate Cunningham went down with that sh weird shin injury. Thankfully, he recovered. But then Jaden Ivey took over the point and he displayed a lot of his potential. And then this season, he, I think beginning of the season, like he was starting and then he was benched for some for some portion of the season. So I don't know what Monty Williams was doing, which led him to get fired. I, yeah, he only played, he only coached one season in Detroit, and now he already got booted. So I don't know what's going on with that organization. I know this is a rumored trade. Obviously, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I'm just picturing Jaden Ivey. We having him as that option, being the backup point guard to Jalen Brunson. And if we're talking backup point guards, like Deuce. You are my man, the deuce is loose, and you have that experience under your belt of play, of being in the playoffs, coming up big in the playoffs, I believe game one against the Philadelphia 76ers, or it was game two. It was one of those two games where Deuce was the main reason why we were able to win that game. So Deuce has a little bit more experience being in a more pressurized situation, but the deeper that we go into the playoffs, obviously the competition rises. So whoever would be that backup point guard, there would be having there would be minutes where they have to go up against the starting point guards. And in my opinion, would I rather would I rather have Deuce or would I rather have Jaden Ivey? It's not an easy call. Deuce has shown me glimpses in this past season that he's willing to come that he's willing to ring the bell. He's willing to accept the challenge. But Jaden Ivey, man, Jaden Ivey, just from what I saw, so much potential. 22 years old, 6'4". A few moments that I did see him play, whether it was against the Knicks or I just saw some highlights of some games from Detroit. He had a lot of standout moments, man. It's a really hard call. I really like what I saw from Deuce this season. I think he really proved a lot of things to me. But, man, that Mitchell Robinson and Jalen Duran portion of the trade, that is... I, I don't think it would fix all of our problems because... If, we, if the trade does happen, then Jalen Duran would be the starting center. And then once again, we're left with a question of who's going to be coming off the bench, fulfilling that big man spot. But Jalen Duran coming to the Knicks, he's going to be able to provide what Mitchell Robinson was able to provide. Being a defensive anchor, altering shots if, any, if anybody's coming down the lane, finishing plays around the rim, just getting rebounds, blocks. And when I say finishing plays around the rim, there are no plays being drawn for Mitchell Robinson. The only plays that are being drawn up for him is when Coach Tibbs, maybe out of a, a sideline timeout, Maybe a sideline out of bounds where it's like an alley being run for Mitchell Robinson. Jalen Duren obviously is more than capable of finishing those plays. But one of the knocks that I had on the bigs this past season, uh, Jericho Sims, Precious Chachua, Mitchell Robinson. Not so much Mitchell Robinson, but he still has instances where he just can't catch the ball. Jalen Duren, I haven't seen him have that problem. And then again, 20 years old. 20 years old. You are a baby in the league. The, the ceiling for you is just astronomical where we've seen Mitchell Robinson for the past six seasons. I went through I went through the numbers as far as how many games he's played for the past six seasons. Yeah, two of them out of out of the last six seasons, he only had two. So four good seasons where he played 60 games and above. But when I saw that article being published and I read the pieces and the and I read the pieces that we would get in return for Deuce McBride and for Mitchell Robinson, man, I was I'm I'm in for it. I'm throwing I'm in for it. No questions asked. Let's make it happen somehow, some way. Again, I don't work for the Knicks. I don't know what's up with the salary cap. I don't know the numbers. But if we're talking about just eye talent, if we're talking about just what we've seen, the skills, the potential, and the ceiling, and durability, I'm taking Jalen Duren over Mitchell Robinson every single day. But guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about Jalen Duren replacing Mitchell Robinson, Jaden Ivey replacing Deuce McBride, and also giving up another first round pick. Are you guys for it? Or do you guys want to stick with what we have, with what we know, Mitchell Robinson and Deuce McBride? But until next time, guys, I'll check you out in the next video. You know the drill. You know the vibes. Ty's Gibson for president, wherever you are. Jalen Brunson for all the MVPs. Deuce, man, for co-MVP, even though you were part of this trade and even though you were part of this video in kind of a negative way. I'm sorry, man.
please forgive me. Mikhail Bridges for Defensive Player of the Year. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.